In this one, we'll go ahead and learn how to randomize the transition between different states or animations in the drive state machine. So here I have an example with this number input or roller. If I go ahead and hit this trigger, it should go ahead and display a random number. To do that, we can go ahead and key in the state machine input of the nested artboard and create different timelines with different numbers. So let's go ahead and perform the same. You can add a timeline, select the nested artboards and key in their number. So let's say first one will be 100. And now if I go ahead and play this, you can see the number is animated too. So, and change it to one frame because it will only key in these numbers and then similarly create duplicates. Now I've gone ahead and added five timelines with different numbers keyed in. You can add as many as you want. And now in the state machine, we can go ahead and drag and drop these states like this, and then create a transition between the any state and all the different numbers. Now, if I go ahead and play the state machine right now, you can see we get a weird behavior. That is the transition goes between each of the numbers randomly actually, but it is not controlled. That is, if I go ahead and press this trigger, you can see it animates to one and then to the other one. So this is a glitch, but the behavior we want is whenever we go ahead and press on this handle, it should animate to one of these states. That is randomly pick a state, that is a number and transition to that. To do that, we can go ahead and first of all, set our condition that is for all of these conditions, it should be triggered by our trigger. And now we can go ahead and select the any state. And here you can see we have the randomization option. If we go ahead and select the randomize exit, then we go ahead and get all of the states which are transitioned to from this any state. And we can go ahead and randomize, that is randomly pick any of the state and transition to the same. Now we can control the random behavior as well. That is, if you want an option to appear more than the others, that is to be chosen more than the others, you can set the powers here. I'll go ahead and make sure that each option has equal chances of getting picked. Now, if I go ahead and play the state machine, hit the handle, you can see we go to a random option that is 347, trigger it again, you can see 790, and it goes ahead and works as expected. Now the randomization option works with any state. That is, it can go ahead and work from the any state, the entry, or even simple layers like this as well. So if I go ahead and for demonstration, just drop in two states, join it together. Now you can see we get the randomization option here as well. So that's how you can go ahead and randomly transition into animation in Rive.